<laughs> it was good though, but like, gang, um, before we start the video, not feeling so well, so if I'm speaking really quiet, you can't hear me, I'm sorry, but gotta keep working, gotta keep grinding, you know, every day I gotta, I gotta, I gotta record a video, only part I gotta worry about is editing, but, um, yeah, anyway, thinking about separating my channels, like, one for a live channel, specifically just for, like, posting live content, it's, it's a channel specifically just for the live, and a channel specifically just for recording, like, this one right now, I'm gonna make it on. The regular channel i might make a new channel but um i'll update y'all if i ever do that now that we got that out the way we got the worst probably the worst interview um that's dropped so in a, in a long time all right if you don't know the context what's been going on with adam 22 and lena his wife please look it up i don't even feel like explaining they recently got married had a kid um she went to go have a she went to go film a scene with another man a black man BBC. This thing like 50 minutes, but we I'm, I'm gonna just cut it into pieces because I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. And he interviewed the dude that did it with his wife, so I really want to see that part. So uh, yeah, let's go. No jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And guys, never say that I don't give you what you want. You've all been talking about it. You all want to hear it. I got the one and only Lena the plug. My wife on the podcast to talk about recent events i'm laughing because i'm thinking about how like i'd probably never come on the podcast again but I, if i f***ed another guy so now i'm allowed to come on the podcast you thought you were never going to come on the podcast again i mean it's just like you know no one wants the lena the plug interview but then I, I f someone else and now it's like oh she needs an interview okay you did an adult scene with yes, someone else I mean, but it's like <laughs> it's when i think about it bro uh how you not crying, bro? I be crying. Bro, there be no podcast. I'm done. No, I'm I'm changing my name, moving countries. No, bro. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> well, when you were in your like mom TikTok era, probably that wasn't going to be the thing that made me like, okay, let's let's get her on. I had I had you on here what a year and a half ago with Flacco. Yeah, I can't remember why we did that. Just, Just give you a little press. It. Yeah. Get some stuff out there. I'd feel more comfortable if he was here. I feel really, like, uncomfortable with the fact that it's just you and I and we're going to talk about this in front of my brother-in-law, Josh. He's not paying attention. <laughs> He's not even in here. Oh, he left? No, Thank that, God. I was Donnie. like, oh, Josh is in here. Don't put Josh on blast. Um, <laughs> I just feel uncomfortable. No, but this might actually be the first time that you and I have been on this podcast together, just you and I, right? Uh, yeah, it is the first time. That's great. Also, we got married. We did get married. That didn't constitute me coming on here, but this event did. It seems like an afterthought after the last week. Yeah. <laughs> Not like actually, but in terms of content. Come on, get get to the good stuff, bro. Get to the good stuff. Serious stuff yeah. in advance. The marriage was like, all right, I guess we should do, just do this too. Let's fi let's finish up. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, okay, this this is the first thing that I thought might be useful for us to lay out is let's lay out the chronological order of how the idea of you even working with other people became a thing because I have a memory of maybe six months ago where you said something like, do you really think that we're going to go our whole lives without ever sleeping with other people? And in the context of like, I think we were talking about swinging mm -hmm. at first. Yeah. I mean, cause people don't really know this about you and I, but you just mentioned it on the podcast. So now I can talk about it. Okay. We had a threesome early in our relationship with another guy. Uh -huh. And that was just like, we went out, we partied, we had like a really fun, hot sexual experience. And we were always kind of down for like a little bit of uh, freaky things. You there was know? like two or three other people in the like, room just watching us. who like were not there to see us but they just happened to be in the room because we're all just hanging out. This yeah. was back in the Adam and Lena party era that didn't really last that long. And at that time, to be totally honest, you were pretty much a random girl to me. Yeah. We didn't have any kind of like we emotional emo connection. Was, oh my God. <laughs> That's where we were in our lives. We went to emo night. Okay. Shout out emo night. <laughs> and um, I've always been somebody who throughout my life, there's been a bunch of different times where me and my homie might a girl together. Always enjoyed it. Enjoy. I don't. I don't know how people do that, bro. Like, I don't care who it is. Never. You're not gonna see me going there, especially with another nigga dick out, bro. I'm good. I don't want to see no nigga ass cheeks. I'm good. I should be the only man in that room. Hypothetically, I'm. It's not. I'm. I'm not. You know, not wanting to do it. Not at all. But hypothetically, bro. I should be the only man in the room. I'm not seeing no other nigga dick and flat booty cheeks. I'm good. I'm good. I'm straight, bro. I'm straight. 
I'm walking out the room if that that happened. But then once we started to actually get closer and closer to like dating, it became like, no, we're not talking about that anymore. We literally never talked about it again. And then you talked about it on the podcast. We maybe didn't talk about it for like five, six years. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, well, I mean, also my, my, my friend went on to, to date the guy for a really long time. So that's all probably also why we didn't talk about it. That is a good point. Yeah. Um, but like, okay. When I think about that version of us, Hey bro, come on, bro. Get to the spicy stuff, man. Second year as an online person, shit bothered me a lot more. No. I mean, Wait, hold on. And I'm like, I just don't want to feel like indebted to have to like be on board with this, like nonstop throughout the future. Yeah, when we came home from the honeymoon, I was like, oh, I think I'm ready to have another baby. And Adam was like, I don't think so. And then now Adam keeps asking me when I want to have another baby. Well, because it is kind of like you're on, there's like a timer <laughs> of sorts. Because it's like, if we want to have another kid or two. Bro, you know how bad a kid when to get bullied? Bro. See, you already set your kids up for failure before they even started life. Before they really started life. Bro, the roast wouldn't be deadly, bro. They, there's nothing they can connect with that. Niggas can leave go online and find proof for free. You you fucked your kids up for life. That's tough. I mean, at a certain age, it's considered what? Like a high risk elderly pregnancy or some shit if you're even like close to 40. If you go by that number, then, then they already think I'm too old. Right. Well, you need to freeze your eggs so we could potentially get a surrogate in case you decide that you want to do more black scenes for the next 10 years, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to see. Because that's what probably a lot of people like have a hard time wrapping their head around is that that was almost like the other option. It was like you were either going to like keep going with this shit and like your career and do some more spicy stuff or you were just going to like go full mom mode. But why, why does that not appeal to you at this point in your life or does it? I was fully ready to come home and be a stay at home mom. I just said that. Right. No, you wasn't. And then, you know, you were not really down. Oh, OK. I think you're kind of mischaracterizing that. I have gone through a pretty rocky year. Yeah, and, I and was you said like, you want to feel more stable in your life. Right. And Did, somehow me having a baby makes you feel less stable, even though I'm going to do like 99% of the work. I mean, it just felt like, oh, that's going to be like a lot to take on right now. No, she, why, why does she look happy? Like, she looks generally happy. Like, like she ain't do nothing wrong. Just because. <laughs> Jesus. Mix well together because. I need my body for my job. Right. Um, if I didn't have the intention of having more kids, I would have gone and gone like 10 plastic surgeries already. Mm. But I'm trying to balance everything. Yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of people. On this career. Hold on, bro. Let's get, let's get to the dude, bro. Let's get to the dude. The insecurity. Get you to. Acknowledging like, hey, I saw it. Exclamation point. So cringy. My <laughs> tweets are cringy. <laughs> Some of them, yeah. You as well. That's why I chimed in. Catch y'all. See what's up. Definitely. So, is there? What's the vibe like between you guys? Anything I should know about? There, I don't think there's a, like a really vibe. I think it's like a business thing. But I feel just very uncomfortable with this right now. <laughs> I feel awkward. A l- little uncomfortable. Can you tell the him how nervous I was? Bro, like so nervous. Oh my god, I, I feel so wrong right now. Bro, no, she don't care. Just leave a picture of her stuffing it down. No, bro. <laughs> oh, this made me want to punch the dude, bro. Right now. Like, Who's like that? It's just work. Fat nose ass. Okay, but a lot of people have like a cheating fetish. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the, the, I feel like you do. Yeah, cheating I've done in the past was I'm a little bit turned on by the fact that I was doing something underhanded. Or take take myself out of it, but like. If you're fucking a girl and you know she has a boyfriend and she's doing something wrong, that is kind of hot. Is it? A little bit. Okay, bro. See, he knows. It's kind of like the adrenaline. The adrenaline like, I feel know, so like, guilty if, if I was the other woman. Okay, so Jason, give me a, a genuine review. How was it? You want like a, like a, a number scale or just like... <sighs> number? No, in detail, it's crazy. It sounds like it could be hurtful but <laughs> if, you, you, if it's a high number sure like a four 100 nine out of ten really? 
Really? Nine out of ten. Who's a ten? Well, obviously her. Oh. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> a nigga like me, I can't take this shit. I'm shutting the podcast off. I'm done. She can have a kid. I'm gone. I'm li I'm living a separate life. My name Pablo. I'm going to a different country. I can't do this no more, bro. This is insane. Well, she, well it was a nine out of ten. I never, I never grasped an entire ten before. It's like you got to leave room for something that could possibly top the next one. Okay, yeah. I'll take a nine then. Jesus. Okay. Jesus. Um, okay, yeah. So a lot of people want to know, uh, I don't know, just like w if I should feel diminished as a man as a result of this. Like the cuck narrative is very, very strong. Yes. I just want to get your thoughts on that. And like, I never seen a nigga top sneaky, yo. Like, like, off the charts, my nigga, off the charts. I never seen nobody do that in my life. This is this is absurd, and the fact that you love it and too. If, if, if how people should think about that in in the context of me being, you know, the the silent third party and all this. Well, I don't know. Like, if you look at it in the business aspect, then basically it was just a job, you know. She's high up in her ranks. I'm high up in my ranks. Us two together, obviously, would make the most, most amounts of money. So it's not so much being a cook. If you're comfortable with it, y'all communicated the prior. Obviously, she said y'all did. So it's not really a cook situation. It's more of like. That, that ain't gonna lie. That nigga calling you a cook. He's calling you a cook. He's calling you a cook. Two people come in and make an understanding. Yeah. You know, so if you're cool with it, then, you know, it is what it is. Me personally, I don't know if I have enough in me to allow it. Mm, they called you a cuck. Yeah. But everyone's different. Everyone have different levels of, how to say, mental maturity. Well, it would be kind of <laughs> weird for you to find a dude bigger than you. Maybe they could resurrect Andre. What? You seen it? The giant or something. Maybe you could get Brock Lesnar to come through and cut it up for you. But, I mean, you're kind of like the biggest dude that I could think of. I don't know. It's going to be tough for you to find a bigger guy. Oh, they, got, they got a couple. They got a couple. Yeah. But, I you know, it's not just the size, it's everything that goes into it that makes it, you know. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Lena, Lena is just, like, shriveling up into a ball right now. I can see how uncomfortable this is making you. Yes, this is making me very uncomfortable. And I'm glad that he's only, you know, on Zoom and not here right now. <laughs> Bro, in person? Oh, this would be crazy. This would be viral. Do you think that would be awkward? Yes. Also, I would feel like I'd feel very a lot of sexual tension, and I felt like we would have to do a scene oh if you guys were God. both here. See, she's out of control now. She's on a tear. <laughs> she basically just said she wanted to do with him again. Again? No, that's wow. I don't even know to have that effect. I apologize. See, all right. Now I'm gonna have to really mind you next time you're going to an adult event that he's gonna be at, right? No, but I would be turned on if you were there. Uh, yeah, no, part of it. she's lying. So you think that if me and you go out to a party and we see him, that there's a chance that we'd all end up hooking up after? I don't know what his stance is on working with you. Oh, wow, <laughs> good point. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't care. Oh hell yeah, I get it. Okay. I get it in regardless. Damn, that would be yeah. I can see that. That would probably kind of make me feel like I'd put a cap on this whole situation if we all did it together. Wow, there. maybe that is the three way that we should do because that would be pretty viral rather than just some random guy right bro you're uh, no hmm. as long as i'm Plotting. not sitting in a chair with my fucking you arms tied behind my back shot. or whatever you gotta hold the camera okay. for one shot all right so now i gotta rewrite the script <laughs> yeah what what, are, what do people need to know about jason love since like you're kind of I, I almost feel like a large percentage, maybe even the majority of the photos that you're going to be taking over the next year or so, you're going to, it's going to be people saying like, you're the dude who fucked Adam 22's wife. I don't know. I mean, I know you get recognized all the time, but it's kind of an interesting scenario that you're in now, right? I got stopped on the street like four or five times already. <laughs> Normally it's just to talk to me about me, but then it was like, oh, you know, jump for good wife. I'm like, <laughs> I got, yeah, I guess. <laughs> wow. Insane. Um, like, take a picture with my wife, bro. Yeah, like, you're gonna get more. Wait, what? Her. Insane. Um, like, take a picture with my wife, bro. Yeah, like, you're gonna get more of those offers. <laughs> See, I've only had a couple people say that to me. I'm sure he gets that all the time. All the time. Right. So, if we do choose to have another kid, how am I gonna know it's mine and not? Oh, oh my God, I can't. No. Oh, God. What? oh, Don't even oh. Bring that you have never been around black people besides getting fucked by them for your OnlyFans, so shut the fuck up. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit.
that's kind of what's going on in the back of my head. I don't like using it because I feel like I just feel uncomfortable using it. I don't, I don't care. If you see a school bus and it's yellow, <laughs> you're like, where did you park? By the big yellow school bus. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what it is. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's just, it's a statement of fact. And like, you know, in the real world, fetishization, I can see why that's a bad thing, you know? You walk up to an Asian girl and you're like, oh, I'm so turned on by Asian girls. I can see how that's like a bad thing. But we're in porn. This is like, we are, we are here to satisfy fetishes, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a verbiage. Like, you know, right. It's been around for a minute now. Yeah. What, what do you got coming up? Anything in the future that uh, we should know about? You're, you're going on some trips and stuff for, uh, for a, a, a brand, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going, I'm going to Europe for about two weeks. But I did just drop my book. What? Book about what? The book. Uh, it's called uh, Louisiana Slim, the family, about my, my previous life before I got to adult. Really? Ah. Uh, really? Because I'm about to say he looked like he did some crazy stuff before. I always wonder that when I see you with the tattoos on your face and everything, I'm like, I wonder what this guy was doing around town before he got into the porn game. A lot of things. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you come from poverty, you know, you got to make it how you make it. Uh, ain't that the truth? Well, we're going to do like a full length interview at some point, but um, I appreciate you banging my wife. Oh my God. And uh, my pleasure is. Cr <laughs> hey, Jesus. I can't do it. I can't. You better than me, bro. Yeah. Wow. Knock it out. That's what I do. Hey, I, I absolutely, I cannot hold it against you, my friend. Did you see it yet? I saw a few of the the clips, and uh, yeah, I think you guys you put it down. I believe it was mainstream. You probably win an award. Oh well, that's a big idea. My assistant did give me the idea to submit it for an AVN. I was like, I don't know. I feel like huh? this might be crossing the line. Yeah, Pound Town. You just <laughs> left Pound Town. I was gonna call it the wedding gift. Mm. <laughs> Oh, she enjoy. She's enjoying this right now. She's enjoying this right now, bro. She's in. She cut the act. She don't feel bad. She's loving this. She just don't look shame from everybody else. Man, oh my! Bring shaming back, please. <laughs> For the record, it's not literally your wedding gift, but it it was something that we kind of like felt more comfortable with after the wedding and whatnot, right? It just makes sense. That's what everyone's latching on to. They just got married, you know? Mm. So. <laughs> I have a kid. My nigga, a kid. All right. Mr. Love, oh appreciate you. Bye, Jason. Thank you. Bye, Lena. And then he's going to say bye. Really so that awkward. was awkward for you? Yes. Me and him exchanging energy. And him energy. talking about it, just being like, I put it down, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ah. Yeah, but he he's smart. He clarifies right away. It was a business move. You know, we, we just. Yeah, that's, that's, that's he trying to make it sound sweet.